hello again. It's Beth Boynton, and this time you can see I have my scrubs on. I decided to wear those for uh, this topic about no innocent bystanders. They're not really related to wearing scrubs, it's just more comfortable. Anyway, I learned about no innocent bystanders when I was in graduate school, and I was studying emotional intelligence, and I was building a model that used theater games to teach those skills. Um, and you'll hear more about that because I'm very interested in medical improv. But uh, this YouTube right now is about no innocent bystanders. And basically, in a nutshell, that just means that we're all, all everybody in the moment is responsible for respectful care. If I see uh, a physician humiliating a nurse, or I see a nurse gossiping about another nurse, then because I'm there, uh, it's my job to be accountable for stepping up and saying, this isn't okay, I'm not going to participate in it, stop, wait, so forth. Um, there are three reasons why organizations should consider uh, building that concept into their policy on zero tolerance for inappropriate behavior or behaviors that undermine safe care or disruptive behaviors or incivility, whatever terminology we are using. Um, we could just say, let's put this concept in so that we're all treating each other with respect. respect. Um, that is a quick way to summarize it. But anyway, the three reasons to include no innocent bystander concept is first of all there is organization-wide accountability and um, that means that the standard norm for our behavior is that we're all going to speak up when we see that something is not okay. The second reason is that this shift in power um, takes us from uh, this the invisible murky sh uh, power that we have by tolerating inappropriate behavior and we shift it into a way that everybody's uh, the power really is for it's not okay to treat people disrespectfully. Um, and the third way is that when we intervene, whoever it is, if it's the victim um, or a bystander, that intervention is going to result in some feedback for the offending person or the person who is perceived to be the offending, the offending person. And at the very least, they will get feedback that in that moment, there's at least one person that's saying, this isn't okay. All right, so that's the No Innocent Bystander. There's a much more detailed article on my blog, and I'll give you the title in just a second. Thanks a lot, and um, see you next time.